Interested in laser engraving, but you need some help on picking out a machine? Watch today's video and I have some information on a great one for you. We were super excited and grateful to have Sculpt Fund send us their S30 Pro, which is a 10 watt laser engraver. I've done hours and hours on this machine. We love it. We've done tons of projects. Uh, look down below at our um, other videos that we've done on laser engraving to give you some ideas of projects that you can make. But you'll notice in this video, I had to do a workaround. Um, it was a software um, generated problem. It wasn't a machine uh, generated problem. So you'll see I kind of took the long way, but you could have solved that by doing one step. And this might sound foreign to you, but do a little bit of uh, watching of the video and research and you'll understand what I'm talking about. You'll need to set your origin with the software in the machine. I skipped that step, so I did a long way around, but it'll show you how you can do that. But we love the machine. We've done hours and hours on it. So watch the video and see how the Sculpt Fun 10 watt uh, laser engraver can do tons of projects for you. Okay, so this is the Sculpt Fun S30. So it's a 10 watt laser. So I'm super grateful that Ross, uh, my husband, assembled this for me. In the instruction book, Sculpt Fun has a little QR code here that takes you to a YouTube video that shows how to assemble it. So I've been out here in the garage playing with it. This is the Air Assist. I would highly recommend if you're going to invest in a unit, get one with Air Assist. It makes all the difference in the world. So this hose is continuously feeding air um, to your project if you tell it to in the software. So mentioning software, this um, there's a, I'm sure there's other ones out there, but the only two software that I've used is Laser Gerbil and Lightburn. This one will only work with Lightburn, and you, so you'll have to either do the free trial or pay for it. If you're just starting out, I would highly suggest learning the software because the machine will only do what you tell it to do. So the machine is fantastic if you can give it the correct instructions. So take some time, do some research and on the light burn. And so what I have found, I've used, um, oh, probably seven or eight different machines and tested them. This is the only one, I don't know if there's a, a, um, something I'm missing on the light burn software. I usually have the machine turned and so that this bar and it's engraving like this but with the software you have to turn the machine which is uh, beneficial because the adjustments to raise and lower your laser head are on the back of the machine and so with the machine sideways you can easily reach those the other thing that's unique about this, this is how you adjust the height. So I'm getting ready to cut out some letters and you adjust your height by um, unloosening these back knobs. And now your laser will go up and down. Take this little cylinder that they have in the, the package, set it underneath the edge of the laser, tighten back up your screws and then pop back out that little cylinder. And that is the height you need it from the cutting surface. When you're engraving, when you're burning a word, you don't need the air assist on uh, so much. When you're cutting out something, the air assist is fantastic. So on your software, you're going to want to tell it uh, to um, do air assist and we're cutting out. So I have my letters on my light burn screen. And I have, um, I'm using an eighth inch piece of basswood and I have told it to go at 600 speed at 100% and I'm going to do two passes. So we'll see how the machine does. Uh, once you get your letters on there and my dimensions, I'm going to hit frame. And I don't like wasting wood, so I'm going to get that over as much as possible. And when you're cutting out items, it's highly uh, suggested to use like a honeycomb mat. 
Okay, so before I just um, off camera, I don't know if you can see, I got it started and realized I forgot a step. You have to mirror your words or your object in order for the Lightburn software to talk to SculptFun. It's printing it, it's cutting it backwards. So here's a two that, that I started just a second ago. I forgot to mirror it. So you'll need to mirror your image um, on your software. Super simple to do. You just hit this button and it flips your image. Then I want to frame this one more time since I did so much movement. Now we should be ready to go. When you're doing leather, um, a good tip is to tape it down to your metal um, barrier and that'll keep it smooth. You do a little bit less of a power, so I have this going at 75% power um, at 6,000 speed. And you don't want to use air um, when it's engraving, uh, so it looks like it's given a really crisp burn. But on leather, this is actually um, a like a suede leather. Um, if it was regular, um, like tooling leather, you can wash off the soot when you're done, but you can't do that on the suede. It made it pretty yucky. So I'll show you a tip of uh, how I get the, the soot out of the engraving. Okay, it got a little bit fuzzy on the top of that. I didn't have it taped down up there. Uh, just because this is a practice piece. But to get the soot out of the middle of the engraving, because if you touch it, um, you're probably going to smear it, just take a piece of masking tape, smear it down, and the residue will come off on your tape, and your design still looks just as crisp. There you go. Okay, I have um, a few items that a friend has been having to cut out uh, for someone that she met at a craft show. So this is just a little spiral. Um, and so again, this isn't a light burn tutorial, but you have to know how to tell the machine what to do. So we're going to trace this image, which is tools, trace image, and everything on the outside that is pink is going to be cut out. And to know if you did it right, over here on the side, um, we are going to take away the um, output and the show on the picture itself. Now you can see the little squiggly pink. That shows that everything is going to be cut out. And we're going to right click and preview. And um, if you hit play, you'll see this is what's going to happen. It's going to cut this item out. So then on the, the layers panel, when you're cutting an item out, we want to have air assist, which is a fantastic feature of this Sculpt Fun. Um, I think the S30 is the unit, so that's a great feature having the air assist. So over here on the side, we're telling it air. It's going 600 speed at 100% power, and I have it told to go one time. This is just an eighth inch piece of uh, balsa wood or a basswood. I'm not sure. Basswood, I believe. And um, I've been having success with just doing one pass. If you have a little harder wood or thicker wood, you tell it to go more than one time. Okay, so I'm over to the machine and we need to adjust the height and you just set your cylinder there on top of your cutting product and we're going to lower it and take out your cylinder and now we're going to frame the item okay that looks good 
and I am seeing some move um, marks on the wood so that tells me that I need to raise up because this wood is a little higher there I'm gonna go ahead and raise up my laser just a bit not much and we'll see what happens that may affect the cut and we might have to tell it to go twice So at this point, if this wasn't practice, I would take something uh, to poke to make sure that it falls through, uh, that we got a full cut. Um, but I'm just gonna pull this out. Oh, so this is the back side. You can see that it cut all the way through. And we're just gonna pop that out. Yeah, that worked really good. And so it, it, this is one that this works good too if you have a use for that. Um, but I like the spiral, uh, nice and smooth, uh, looks really good. When you're doing cutting and engraving, you want it to engrave first and cut second so that there's no wiggle. Oh, and there you see what I forgot to do. As I said in the beginning of it, I needed to mirror the um, text. And since I didn't mirror the text, it printed it backwards. But a beautiful job. You can see how crisp the burn is and how smooth the cut is. Well, if you have any questions when you're trying out the machine, I'm really grateful to Sculpt Fun uh, for sending us this. Um, we have the link to order it down below. Um, this is the S30 10 watt machine. Just a really nice solid unit that I think is going to make some really good uh, projects for us. Uh, so as always, thank you for watching DIY on the house.